and I'd like to show you how to make sauerkraut today. So what I've got here is a crock, but you can also use a large jar. And what I've done with this, I've tipped in boiling hot water to sterilize it, and then I've just gotten some vinegar and wiped it around in the jar. I've already prepared quite a lot of the cabbage. And what I do, when I cut up the cabbage, I leave the inner core there, and that allows it to hold on. I use a mandolin, but you can also use a knife if you'd like. And I cut it up on the thinnest setting, because you want more surface area for the bacteria to eat the cabbage and pre-digest it. Also, I've probably used one and a half tablespoons for a whole cabbage. You can do it to your liking, but I find that that's a good amount in terms of saltiness and helping it preserve and also to just decrease the chances of it becoming spoiled with other bac bacteria. So I'll put the last little bit of cabbage in. And do the last little bit of salt. And what you want to do is just scrunch the cabbage in your hands. And if you can hear that, you can already hear the water coming out with the salt. What you want to do is squeeze out as much water as you can so there's just enough so when you actually put the weight onto the cabbage, the water rises above the cabbage. And that's because the bacteria live in an anaerobic environment and if we expose the cabbage to air, we'll get moulds and all sorts of things which we don't want to happen in our sauerkraut. If you didn't have a crock like this, you can do the same thing and get the, out, the thick outer leaf of the cabbage and put it on top of all the scrunched up cabbage and then put a smaller jar that's been filled up with water on top of that cabbage. But really the goal is having the water to rise above for the cabbage so it can ferment. <clears throat> Sauerkraut is great at inoculating your gut with bacteria. And we now know that the health of our gut is related to our mood, to our hormones, to our skin. So this is quite an inexpensive way of getting those gut flora into your, into your gut. You can also use different spices. You can put um, cumin in there, cumin seeds, or you could put in dill. Or I like to sometimes put ginger and garlic, make kind of a kimchi flavoured one. What it also does is it increases the vitamin content of the cabbage, increases the vitamin C, which is a great thing, and it also pre-digests it, so it's easier to digest when we eat it. So if you want to have a look now into the, the crock, when we put the weights on, you can see that the water's come above that. Like that. So just make sure the water comes above the, um, the stones or if the water comes above that big cabbage leaf when you put in that filled jar. What I also do is I clean all around on the inside and put in some and then rub some vinegar around so that just prevents any more mold or any other things to come and, and just sit and attach on there. Then you just put the lid on, depending on the weather. If it's cold, it'll, it'll ferment longer, so probably a week and a half to two weeks. In summer, it'll probably be four days to seven days. But every now and then, just try it. And halfway through, just get some more vinegar and line that surface there just to prevent, and once again, prevent any mold or any other bugs that you don't want. So there you go, sauerkraut. It'll help inoculate your gut, increase the vitamin content in your diet, and it's a very cheap way of getting those good bugs in your diet. Thank you.